watching, behind me is ground zero, and about two blocks that way is where they want to put this new Islamic community center. This morning, the people behind that project say they are very pleased with Mr. Obama. What was a largely local controversy became a bona fide national political issue when President Obama marched into the fray. It started with a speech in which he seemed to support the Muslim Community Center. That includes the right to build a place of worship. But the next day he came out and seemingly walked that back somewhat. I was not commenting and I will not comment on the wisdom of making a decision uh, to put a mosque there. there would be no Daisy Khan, one of the people behind the project, the appears to be unfazed by that all. second comment, saying overnight in a statement, we are deeply grateful to the president's insightful remarks. Mixed responses to the president, however, from family members of 9-11 victims. I think he was absolutely clear in his support of American freedom and liberty and what that means. He's, he's trampling on the memory of those who were murdered that day by Islamic terrorists. Shame on you! Polls show most Americans don't support the community center. Republicans are now pouncing, saying this will hurt Democrats in November. The president himself seems to be disconnected from uh, the mainstream of America. Some New York Democrats are speaking in the president's defense. Ground zero is hallowed ground. Two blocks away, first of all, is not so hallowed ground. But many of the country's most prominent politicians, including some potential Obama allies, are staying mum, from Bill and Hillary Clinton to both former Presidents Bush. Defenders point out that also close to ground zero are two strip clubs, an adult slash lingerie store, and an off-track bedding parlor. There is also a long-standing mosque just four blocks away. Islam has absolutely no connection to the perpetrators of the crime against our nation in 9-11. Muslim activists say they're starting to get more worried about what they call a rising tide of Islamophobia in the country, with increasingly venomous fights over proposed new mosques in places like California, Wisconsin, and Tennessee. This issue does not appear to be going away, George. Mr. Obama's comments may have guaranteed that. That's right. It's a national issue now. Thanks, Tim.